direct TV dish. It's supposed to be hooked up to a satellite. And if you walk out here, my other neighbor has actually got one. He's got one on the ground. And now I had a buddy in the Navy and he was trying to explain to me how satellites worked and stuff. And he was telling me a story about how they got this big, thick telecommunications cable underneath the ocean that connected North America with Europe. And he said if it was ever severed, we'd lose our internet. And I asked him, how is that possible when we have satellites? You know, would we just lose everything or just the Asian connection? Everything would still work, you know, here. So I don't get that. If they cut a cable, we shouldn't lose internet service, especially if it goes to Asia. But anyway, you always see these things and they're always pointed in a general direction. You can't really tell what's going on over there. And I don't know if it's going to a radio tower or not. This one's actually on the ground. Unbelievable, but it supposedly works. My question is, how come you never see these pointed more of an angle up in the air or say straight up in the air out of all the satellites out there don't we have some that are hovering right above us they're, they're always off on some like 20 degree or 30 degree angle so I jump on the internet and I get my answer uh, the requirements for a satellite dish to work is you need a direct line of sight and then it says, satellites are located in the southern hemisphere. Well, that explains why they're all pointed south. So in other words, the satellites are flying around down here south of the equator. So in other words, in Australia, all the dishes on people's houses should be pointed in a more upright position if that were the case. I don't know. I don't know anybody in Australia. Apparently, there's no satellites in the northern hemisphere. Okay, well, now are they moving or are they staying fixed with the earth? Well, apparently this is how they work. You got them flying by and your dish will actually pick up the next satellite that's flying by if they were to move, unless they're stationary. Okay, and what I didn't know is actually how a satellite works this is pointed it seems like this is pointed in a 20 degree angle you know just above the houses across the street or whatever but they're saying it actually bounces off the shield or the dish and it goes in a more upright position towards the sky which would be if it were mounted like this more of a 45 degree angle now again in Australia they should be like this of course you never see that now going back to the requirement sheet here, it actually says you need a direct line of signal. So it could possibly look like this. So in other words, if you have a telescope and direct TV with no trees in a way, you could actually climb up there, point the telescope in the general direction of the satellite dish and see if you could see a tower off in the distance or if it just goes into space. Now, I Google Earthed my area, and there are a couple of radio towers off in the distance, but I can't see them from my roof because of trees. Um, so if anybody's able to do that, that would be great if you can get back to me, because um, as we know, according to this sheet here, there are no satellites in the Northern Hemisphere. All right, it's March 4th, almost nine o'clock in the morning. And you'll see in the sky, there is not one single chemtrail. Maybe planes aren't flying today. Of course, well, there's one over there. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. Only got a tiny tail. I'm not even sure if I'm catching it.